הגיע הזמן להתעורר, עזוב הכל, התגבר, שוב הביתה. So, um, yeah, another year gone, another year down. Uh, what a year. Uh, it's been, uh, I mean, incredible. It's, there's a lot to talk about, really, I suppose. I mean, first of all, 2023, apart from the last few months, was amazing. Um, I got a promotion at work. Um, I'm still at the same company that I was at. Um, I'm still enjoying it. Uh, it's very different to what it was. I'm having a great time. I'm still with Ronen. We've now been together for, I guess, three and a half years. Um, we've traveled around. We've had some really good times. Um, life is life. This year, however, I moved apartment. This is now my view. Um, I moved into a brand new apartment. Um, as in it's literally brand new, um, still renting. Um, I'm planning potentially to maybe buy something um, maybe next year, as in 2025, um, or the year after. Um, I'm definitely here now for the, for the long haul. Um, I'm not leaving. I've met some incredible people. I've met a lot of people who have made Aliyah since, um, and I've become really good friends. Um, some of my friends who I was very close with when we, I first came here, you know, things change and they're not my, uh, they're not so close with them anymore. That's just life, isn't it, really? My Hebrew is pretty good. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. Most, do, I, do, do I speak in Hebrew mostly? No. Um, can I? Yeah, I can. Um, I have conversations with people completely in Hebrew and I stumble sometimes. Um, I'm not completely fluent. I'm not as fluent as I'd like to be, but I don't think I ever will be. Um, but I got my hair cut um, from a guy who doesn't speak any English and, you know, it's not bad. Do you know what I mean? I could have looked ridiculous, but I didn't. And he doesn't, like, he didn't speak any, uh, 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 he didn't speak any English at all. So that was good. Um, with Ronan, I speak in Hebrew sort of 30% of the time. He started getting more comfortable speaking to me in Hebrew, but then the problem is I have to be ready for it. Um, and if I'm not, because I, I assume he's going to speak to me in English. Um, but yeah, at work, people have meetings now and everyone speaks in Hebrew all the time, and I respond in English. And that happens with groups of friends as well. Sometimes everyone will be talking, and if I miss something, then I just ask. It's fine. I think I need to get used to kind of speaking Hebrew and then stopping, switching to English, then back to Hebrew and stuff like that, which is what a lot of people here do. Um, but it, when I've spoken other languages, I've never done that. I've just spoken in that language and got frustrated if I had to switch. But I think that's what I need to try and do. So get back to me next year and I'll see how I'll tell you how that goes. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Um, I would be remiss to not mention the fact that we have uh, been living in a war zone since October the 7th. Um, I'm not going to talk about the politics of that. Um, it's been very intense. Um, for the first month, I, I didn't really leave my apartment because I was very nervous. Um, I'd had sirens and things before and we'd had rocket fire here. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into politics of it, I'm not going to go into uh, oh who's right, who's wrong oh, should they have done this, shouldn't they have done this, blah 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 that's not what this is about but what I will say is that one of the reasons and not the only reason, but one of the reasons that I made Dalian at the beginning um, was because I saw a an intense rise in anti-Semitism in London and the UK Um and I will say that, um, although it wasn't the only reason, it was one of the deciding factors. Um, and I didn't like to whine about it, um, but I had a lot of things happen, and I moved here. Um, that has obviously risen ex 
extremely quickly over the last few months and we have seen a uh, 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 this underlying thing which has not just arisen in the last three months it's it, it was already there and I think a lot of us knew that um, I've been back to London um, since and um, I went back in November to see my family and I felt very uncomfortable um, as a Jew, as an Israeli, I felt very uncomfortable. Um, I avoided going into the city centre. I avoided talking to anybody that I didn't already know. Um, I stayed away from conversations. Um, I don't think it's a nice place for people to live. I think a lot of people are nervous or scared. And even though every few days there are rockets, here um, and even though there's a lot of animosity aimed towards this region um, and even though I've lived through uh, daily shelling um, thank God we have protection from that here because our government spends a lot of money to protect us even though that's the case I'm still glad that I'm here I'm still glad that I live here and I'm not going anywhere this is my home, and this is where I'm staying. So, 2023, crazy year. My third year of, uh, well, my, I guess my my fourth year, sorry, of of living here. Whirlwind, roller coaster, ups, many downs, lots of ups, as always. Uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm trying to look forward to the next year and to the year ahead. Um, things have changed, but I'm always here to um, offer advice or help to anyone who needs. So if you have any questions, you know, get in touch. Um, but yeah, this is my home and here I am.